Hello, in this video I will show how to start a login to Logstash for logback in Spring Boot application. First of all, you need to create a new project. Select Spring in Initializer, click Next, uh, give some project settings. For dependencies, we will need uh, just Spring Web for controller, click Next and Finish. Now we can see that our project is important, so uh, Gradle is putting our project and downloading our dependencies, we need to wait a little bit. So now the build is finished and we can start using our project. Uh, now let's create a controller for our testing purposes. We will make it as a controller. This one function. Simple return of hello world. So let's start our application to see that it is working. So we can see it's successfully started, we can check it. I will use uh, the tool called HTTPI and we can see our hello world in the terminal. So Now we need to create uh, a logger in our control, so uh, copy this one, import uh, sl4j, log factory, so it's logging for test, and check that it's working. So we see our test, it's okay. <clears throat> now we need to create our uh, logstash kibana and elasticsearch. We will use Docker Compose. So I have a copy. So uh, in this Docker Compose, we have a network that connects all our Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana so that, that they can communicate with each other. Also, the ports of Elasticsearch, uh, Logstash, and Kibana are open. And we need uh, 5009 port for Logstash for our logs. So then uh, we just run Docker Compose up. We can see that it's creating, so we go to local post to see if it's elastic is created. So we need to wait a little bit for elastic to load up. So Elastic is now booted up, so we can go to, uh, we can go to our Kibana. As Kibana will be soon ready. So it's now preparing. And we can see our Kibana. So yeah, the infrastructure is set up, so we can uh, we can add our dependency. So we need to add this one. Ah, oh, I forget. I forget to create a pipeline.
stash and so you will get a stash uh, ah, plane, stash off. you will have this simple file uh, this config that accepts a TCP on 5009 with JSON codec and sends log to our Elasticsearch so that we can view uh, through Kibana so now we can uh, start again our stash Now it, it should be working. So it successfully started. That's okay. So we, we edit this uh, dependency. It's uh, network stash of back or stash of log back encoder. So now we update our Gradle dependencies. For it to download it, so we successfully done it. Uh, now we need to add uh, need to add logback XML. Configure the logback. So, so in this file we have a log stash, a log stash appender that sends JSON logs to this one, so localhost, and uh, the whole one is the DAO that Prince console uh, logs. So now uh, we, we can add some more parameters for our login. Um, so we can check structured login and uh, see these, these fields in uh, Bama. So these are some helper methods for from logback stash. So now we can start. And check. Uh, yes, hello world. So uh, in Kibana, we can go to discover, we can see that our index is created. We can create a pattern, then uh, select our timestamp field. So wait until it's creating. So it's created. Now we will need to go to discover. Once again, so we can now see uh, I can I'll send a message. So, I can it out. so we have our four logs here, and uh, about the difference in the key value and value. So, key, key is short for key value, so it uh, Key is pass and value is slash, so uh, it locks a field in JSON uh, as we can see right here. So it's uh, pass equals to slash, so it's a JSON field, you can see it right here. So pass in JSON and pass uh, slash. And uh, this one just prints it in the console, and the difference between uh, key value and value is that. If you print in the console, the value will not print uh, pass equals, so it will just print slash. That's the main difference between key, key value and value functions. So, uh, I guess that's it.